All hooks are open. And undocking confirmed. This is the moment astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams and the world have been waiting for. Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore begin their belated trip home. After 286 days in space, Sonny and Butch bid farewell before departing from the International Space Station with fellow Crew 9 team members, astronaut Nick Haig and cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. Their SpaceX Dragon capsule undocking just after 1 a.m. Eastern. Crew 9 is going home. NASA SpaceX Crew 9 now en route for splashdown in the Gulf along the coast of Florida, 5.57 p.m. Eastern Time. I spoke with former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino. When you come back uh, through the Earth's atmosphere and you splash down, wh what is the physical effect, the, the physical toll on the astronaut's body? First thing you notice, Tom, is the, uh, the onset of gravity. You feel very heavy, even picking up a pen or moving around because you've been floating so much. You sure feel that when you're coming back. Butch and Sonny's extended stay has been a first in space exploration. Never before has a 10-day test flight turned into a nine-month-plus mission. We came up prepared to stay long, even though we planned to stay short. That's what we do in human spaceflight. Only five NASA astronauts have ever spent more consecutive days in orbit than these two. Obviously, we're excited to get Crew 9 back, and uh, I know Butch and Sonny are excited to come back. And then uh, and we'll, we'll celebrate, you know, when they're ready. As for the pair, the hardest part, they say, has been the impact on their families back on Earth. You know, we left our families a little while ago. My daughter's, I'm, I'm going to miss a, most of her senior year in high school, uh, my youngest daughter. Um, and uh, my oldest daughter is a sophomore at uh, East Texas Baptist University. A special homecoming now just hours away. So, Tom, we know their families are just bursting for them to get home. What's the plan once they land? So immediately when they land, they're going to go through uh, a quick medical check with people on the ground, and then they're going to get a full medical evaluation in Houston. But they're likely to experience some aches and some pains. Some astronauts experience dizziness, headaches, motion sickness, kind of feeling off balance and nauseated until the ear's vestibular system kind of readjusts to gravity. Some, by the way, have also reported vision problems because their eyes change shape and space. But again, quick medical evaluation on the ship, then a very thorough work over once they're in Houston, they should be fine within a few days. And then they finally get to go to their, their home homes, right? Their actual, wherever they're living with their families, that's when they're released. Got to think they'll be willing to take some aches and pains to get back in their own beds, Tom. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.